hello 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 everyone good evening and welcome to this facebook live but today's topic is going to be mostly for uh, parents this has got almost nothing to do with children all right so today's topic you know in fact uh, four days ago um i had posted a blog here i posted the link for my blog you know titled parenting is a team work of couple okay and i strongly believe that it's not about one person doing everything parenting is a team work of couple all right so under the comment section okay so couple of parents had asked a couple of parents had asked um and who was it can i is it okay if i share the names but we had a couple of peop, uh, parents who had asked how can single parents um you know do a better job or what are some tips for single parenting so i thought why not make that as a topic uh, you know for today's facebook live of course i'm going to be talking about single parenting today but then if you even if you're not a single parent there are some pointers in this video that will definitely help you okay all right so let's get started so the first one okay by the way all your ptp members can you please quickly just type in the telegram group for people to hop in that the live has started i want them to hop in here all right thank you i want one of you to do it okay so let me tell you that bringing children up can be difficult at times okay not always but at times it can be difficult and it's irrespective of the situation that you are in whether be single parenting or not all right even otherwise but when it's single parenting the stakes are a little higher right so the first pointer that i wanted to share with you is let go of all the emotions okay that are hampering your growth or keeping you stuck the first pointer is let go of all the emotions that are hampering your growth or keeping you stuck right so like hate anger frustration then blame sometimes self pity yeah and guilt and you know this feeling of being powerless all these feelings do not serve you as much as most of them are true okay nobody would deny uh, its existence okay or its honesty but it will not help you in any way right and i know it is easier said than done but one tiny step at a time will take you a long way one thing for sure you need to know you need to become aware of the pattern that you are having right now on the emotions that you are experiencing and those emotions that are keeping you stuck in your exist um, you know in your life which are preventing you from moving further so you know once you finish watching these videos when you have some time go back and make a list of all the emotions that you're feeling all right and uh it's important to let go of those emotions slowly like one layer at a time so over a period of time you start feeling better right so the first pointer is let go of those emotions okay but the second one is um uh, let your child have a good picture of your ex that means your fa um, the child's father or mother yeah um in spite of whatever bad that has happened between you know between you both with your spouse with your ex i think that should not um hamper the image that your children will have about that person okay because at the end of the day he is your child's father or mother right so it's extremely important and healthy for children to have a good image now when i say good you need not lie to your children and that's my third point okay be as honest as you can with your children explain to them about what happened based on what age they are in and their capacity in terms of understanding okay what they can comprehend explain to them about what happened but make sure make sure you don't always tell the negatives of your ex 
you also tell the efforts that they put in and also tell what, what possible mistakes you did. What was your contribution because of which, you know, the situation has happened. It could be either separation. Yeah. So basically it's important to, for your children to know that both are equally responsible for this. Okay. It's, it's, you know, it's important for children to grow in a very healthy environment. Okay. And not to have any bitterness in their heart. So you talk about things that went wrong. You also talk about um, the amount of efforts that you have put in and your ex has put in into this to making things work. So basically, you say we did our best, but we couldn't go beyond this. Okay. Please do not vilify the other person. Please don't do that. Okay. It's not good for children. They might grow up into having those emotions in them, which is not good for them in the long run. Okay. Again, it you know it could be um, easier said than done, but it's extremely important because I want you to keep your child, um, you know, your child's healthy thinking, your child's mental health in mind, emotional health in mind, while doing this process. Okay, and the other important point is I want you all to see it from your child's perspective. Of course, you are going through so much after separation for some. Separation was easier. For some, it was difficult. But wherever you are at, I'm sure you have your own journey. But then your children also have an equally important journey that they're going through. Again, for some children, it's easy. For some, it's difficult based on the involvement, based on the way it happened, based on your children's age. So many factors that comes into consideration. But then make sure you start seeing the entire situation from their perspective because they're still growing. So the, so the way they see uh, the separation or, you know, in case of your spouse, you know, leaving this physical plane, in, you know, simply saying in case of death, it's okay for a child to, you know, it's okay for you and for your child to grieve. You need to have that grieving period, right? So... Just seeing the entire scenario from your child's perspective will give a complete change in perspective for yourself again. All right. So if you don't understand what your child is going through, make sure you ask a lot of questions. Okay. Whenever your child is willing to speak about it, ask a lot of questions and try to understand where your child is coming from and how does he see this entire scenario. Okay. So if you want to continue your learning journey, then I want you to click the link in the description box and be a part of my closed Facebook group called Parenting with Ease, uh, wherein you can attend the Monday lives that I do every week. All right, I'm going to see you there. Take care.